Morning YouTube. This video you're about to watch, we are fished, uh, this is uh, several days fishing after cold fronts. And, uh, which is not the best time to fish. The best time to fish is during uh, the cold fronts. But, the fronts that we've been having have, been, have come in, I mean, they're just blowing like crazy. And, uh, you can't really fish during them because it's blowing 20 30 miles an hour out of the north but you can you can still catch fish after the front it's just not the it's just not the best time because you always got high pressure and all this other stuff these are the three lures that we used in this video and uh, we went back to and checked the trout spot with the uh, with the down south supermodel this is a texas roach and uh there was still trout in there uh i think they were probably a little smaller than the ones we caught in the last video we put out but i mean it was you know they were decent and then i picked up two new lures that i wanted to try out one of them is this uh this is a Strike Pro Hunchback. Uh, it's a weight bait. Got a big knocker in it. And it really, I like the action of it. Uh, it runs good. And the only difference between this one, of course, and the shape and the look of it, but uh, versus like the Man's Waker, the Man's Waker won't go under. Uh, you can crank it fast. You want to crank it, it's not going to go under. This one, you can actually make it run an uh, inch or two inches, probably under, if you crank it real fast. But uh, it's it's got real good action, and uh, even on on a bad day, we the redfish uh, seem to react to it and like it. So I know that uh, that when conditions are good, uh, they'll eat it up. And the other one is the uh, Rapala twitching mullet which is a similar bait to the uh, to the Miradine uh, it's a little I think it's a little smaller body than the uh, than the Miradine but it's got a uh, I really like it. it's got the beads in there it's got a good rattle to it and the action's good when you twitch it if you'll notice this one has two different color hooks and they come this well they come with the single hooks uh, right out of the package uh, in this video you'll find out why this front hooks a different color the uh, the drawback to these two lures and it's not really <laughs> they're a little bit pricey uh, but that seems to be the way everything's headed nowadays. That this this hunchback is twelve bucks, and the twitch and mullet is ten. So they're a little higher than than like Meridines and stuff like that, and the Man's Waker. Uh, Rapala has always been a little more expensive, but they've always been really good lures too. And the finish on this is, man, is outstanding. Really like it. So anyway, that's enough chatting, and let's get on to the video. There he is. Right at the boat.
There he is. Oh, no falling water. Not bad on a high pressure day. Bottom bouncing that down south. They're not real active. They're just kind of laying around. You mount something in front of them, they'll grab it. Mm. Skinny. The boys need to eat a little. There he is. There's a bunch of them on that sand. That's a good one too. Mm. That's a good money. Decent one on the wake bait. See you, buddy. There he is. Mm. 
Hello, pretty boy. Yeah. That's a pretty fish. All bronzed up from the grass. Thanks, sir. That's one. Redfish everywhere right here. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, he came off. Crap on toast. Well, y'all just saw me lose that big old redfish. Here's what I got back. Front hook is gone. I don't know if the snap, I don't know if the snap ring blew out. I don't think it did. I think it probably, when he hit it, sometimes that'll slide into the opening on that, on that uh, split ring. Cause this is not tore up. So it either blew the split ring out or the split ring got, got caught in that wire and opened itself up. <clears throat> 